so I wanted to mention a boy that is very shy. He is around six or seven years old and he gets into class. He is really, really happy because today is his first day at school and here in Norway we also get, we did get free pencils and colors and books to color in. And I want you to mention the boy being very, very happy. And this boy also had a very fun time at school. But then they started to learn stuff like math and they started to learn the alphabet. But this kid do not understand the alphabet. He do not, not understand uh, 1 plus 1, 10 plus 3. He does not understand any of that. He just sits there and basically uh, is in his own world. The only thing this kid wants is to go home because he knows that when he goes home he can sit in his room and play video games and sometimes when he walks home from school there is this other kid that is bigger than him he is uh, not very nice he pushes him and puts him in, in the ground and actually spits on him sometimes and call him names so he doesn't want to tell his parents about it because if he does maybe he will get in trouble now I want you to try to see 10 years later on this kid has improved a lot from what he was when he was around 7 years old he has learned a lot of things. He, ha he has experienced death because his sister died when he was 13 years old and it basically ruined his life. And every single day he blames himself. He blames himself for, for what happened but it is not his fault. He knows that deep in the end but he can't stop thinking about it. In the end, he tried to go to school, but he knows that the new school he is going to, he will be put in what is called the special classes, and he hates it. He likes the people he goes with. The people he goes with is actually pretty nice, and uh, they are understandable. Many of them are actually in the same situation as himself having issues with school but you always become that person that is different you always become that person that is not social acceptable in the end you get tired you don't want to go to school anymore because you don't want to be treated like an animal you don't want to be that person that no one wants to be associated with. So one day you decide to drop out from school because because a lot of stuff has happened. I want you to see many years into the future and this this boy slash uh, teenager has become an adult. He's um, now 32 years old. He has done a lot of things he's not proud of. His body is not good anymore because he basically started to eat bad stuff so he gained a lot of weight. And even though he knows he's not supposed to do it, he always look back at his life. He always think, what if... The question keeps going on, the question keeps 
turning around in his head. What if? What if? And every time he tried to answer the question, he becomes sad because he knows that things couldn't have been different if his life was better. And then he kind of gives up. He gives up because there is so much stuff he needs to do in it to be able to change. He has tried to get a job. He did work at the place for a while, but in the end he was never f- hired. He wanted to be hired though. He did actually try his best because he loved the place he worked at, but the law was not returned. And the reason why they did not want to hire him was because he didn't fit the bill. He has found hope. He has found hope in making videos and trying to improve. Then I want you to know that this person is me. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you're having a good day.